The trial of Donna Adelson, well, we don't know when that's going to happen anymore. It's been postponed due to a conflict of interest. Dan Rashbaum, uh, the attorney, having represented Charlie Adelson, her son, during the trial, withdrawing from the case. Uh, Charlie was obviously convicted. There's a possibility that he could testify in Donna's case, and that's where the conflict becomes problematic because Rashbaum would possess privileged information uh, from his time representing Charlie, which could have compromise his ability to effectively defend Donna, basically, without breaching ethical boundaries. Uh, that came to light when uh, Charlie revoked the waiver that would allow Rashbaum to represent both him and his mother, forcing that trial to be delayed. Joining me to discuss, Bob Mata, defense attorney. Is this just another tactic of the Adelsons? No, I don't think so. No? Like, like, I, I, I just wrote an episode about this. Like, like well, let me, I'm going to turn it around on you. Okay. Um, why, why do you think, what do you think the benefit for defendants or the defense when somebody's in custody is to delay? Like, what, like, I always hear people like, oh, it's the defense delay. I'm like, what, what benefit do you think that the defense is gaining by delaying trial when their client is in custody? It depends on the case. Like with Koberger time and, and people, not having it to be such an impact in their lives. In something like this, I don't know what the what the tactic or the what, reason would like be. But like in Koberger, how does that like how does that help the defense? Like you're thinking like people are gonna forget what they saw. Like well, it's, it's you know not what I mean? A, it's, it's like yeah. it's always a like a bullshit argument. Like okay. people say that because prosecutors puke that shit out. But the reality is if you critically think about it, there's no benefit when your client is in custody to delaying trial. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what it really allows for the state to do is continue to investigate. Now, that is not the case in Adelson because this case is very old. Sure. Like, like Georgia Kappelman has everything she needs. She is genuinely ready to go to trial. In Koberger, if you don't think that the delay helps the state and law enforcement, who is still very much investigating that case— mm -hmm. You're dreaming because <laughs> it, it's absolutely a benefit to the state. And it's always a benefit to the state. Like, I, like cases that I've handled, I tell people all the time, the law enforcement is investigating up until the day of trial. They are always trying to strengthen their case. There is no case where any prosecutor feels like, eh, I've got everything I need. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> want any more evidence. I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, no, I don't think it was, an, I, I think it was, uh, just absolute moronic behavior on the part of Rashbaum. There yeah. is no way in hell he should like any part of him that thought that there wasn't going to potentially be a massive conflict mm -hmm. from the get. Yeah. You represented the woman's son mm -hmm. for the same act or actions. And you know, for a fact that, the state, as they have called everybody that they can from the Adelsons, especially your sister, there is no way they're not calling Charlie. Now, is Charlie going to take the fifth? Probably. I would. He's trying to appeal. I don't know that he would. But, like, like it, it's just, it, it's a massive conflict, and they have conflicting, like, the best thing for Donna's lawyer to do would be, yeah, it was my son. I didn't have shit to do with it. You got the guy. Yeah. Leave me the fuck out of it. Like, and when Roshbaum's on the team, that wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. Because if you go back to the comments that the now lead counsel said yesterday, that was yesterday, right? Or was that the day before? Tuesday. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I can't remember either, dude. It's all a blur. Yeah. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. He said... Now that Danny's not there, something to this fact, I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that Danny's not there, well, now we can change our defense strategy. That tells you all you need to know. True. Like, like Dan wasn't going to be, Rashbaum was not going to be willing to throw Charlie under the bus, to sacrifice Charlie to save Donna. Mm -hmm. And Donna might not be willing to do it either, but if I'm her attorney, I'm trying to convince her that is the move. Yeah. He's already done. He's convicted. He's not going to win an appeal. Mm -hmm. He's fucked. Your son's life is over. 
He's a, so do you want to, do you want for the principal of the thing? Do you want to join in on that and, and just serve the rest of your life in prison? Do you think that's really what Charlie wants you to do? Like Charlie did her a favor by refusing to waive privilege. Mm-hmm. He was really forcing his mother's hand. Yeah. Because Charlie had to have talked to an attorney and that attorney would have said, look, Chuck, here's the deal, man. Like if you want to still try to take care of your, your mother is not helping herself. Your mother went and hired your lawyer. Okay. Uh, that, that is going to be for lack of a better term, cock blocking his, his other counsel his his trial partner from being able to employ the best defense for her, which is to blame you, the guy who's sitting in prison that you're the one who orchestrated it. You didn't have shit to do with it. You didn't pay for it. You didn't do it. You know what I mean? So like, when when Charlie did that, it was really him looking out for his mother mm-hmm. by saying, I refuse to waive the conflict because that did not allow him to continue on with his mom. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. I, I, I thought it was crazy from the get. Yeah. To be honest with you. I said, Still being like, very loyal to mom. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.